All right, I just uh, want to do a little follow-up. Like I made a little sugar water. Um, used a two sugar to one water ratio. It makes about a gallon. Using about seven cups of water, 14 cups of sugar. Anyway, I just want to add some sugar to these guys. I think I'd like to see them build a little comb out, and hoping that a little sugar water will help them uh, get that going. So, so I just I wouldn't care too much about using smoke, but I just think with them so much change in the last week that it's good for them just to not to think they're under attack. So the smoke helps a little bit that way. So just to recap. This is the hive that we captured last weekend. Very calm. Inside our friend's house. Not necessarily acting like they don't have a queen. Usually they're a little bit more flighty. Um, pardon my clumsiness, but I'm going to just go for this. I don't know if we need to show this whole thing, but... Okay, so we poured all the sugar water in. So these first couple frames are honey frames. Just kind of want to see what they're doing, it, but just get a little room. There's a little more sticky to it than I expected. All right, they're building comb on the top of these, so that's good. really careful about, oh man, they had already eaten through one of the, uh, but they're building a little bit of comb on the top, but it's going to go slow, so, um, and if you, you, if you take the camera in here, you can kind of see that they're building a little on the sides too, just because there's room. Sometimes they connect it to the side. I don't know if they can see that. All right, so I just want to take out one of the brood combs. Maybe we'll get lucky and see the queen that she came back, but um, that's not the purpose. In fact, in some ways, I probably shouldn't even be messing with these guys and just leave them alone since they were just moved a week ago. So this was the brood comb. Looks like a lot of it has hatched, but there's still a little bit on this side. There's still a little bit. Being that we know that the queen is marked, um, it makes it a lot easier to spot her. They're just not acting super, uh, super, super shaky. So I'm hoping maybe the queen's in here and they're smelling it, but it could also just be the scent of the brood and that's keeping them calm but I'm looking for the queen and knowing that she's marked with a yellow dot I don't see her but she could be buried temporarily good news is they seem to be thriving this last one out Still quite a bit of brood on this one on this side. I don't know what you can mm -hmm. see on that side. Don't want to shake this up too much. But um, you can see they've already connected the, the comb right here to the top. And if you look on this side, you see how they are eating through the rubber band over here above my thumb. And they'll literally take it and exit it right out the exit of the hive. So this is this is nice because this is close and um, it'll be ready for the spring for the queen to lay in with all that comb and hopefully with this sugar water um, hopefully with the sugar water it'll encourage them to build some comb this is this is just another uh, honey frame um, but they're securing it in uh, they've you can see on the very bottom they've connected it to the bottom so they'll continue to work on it. 
and eventually they'll chew through those rubber bands. They may actually even be working on it right now. But I don't, I do not see the queen and have not seen her. So that is a little bit of a worry. Although we didn't look at the other brood frame. <coughs> the first one. Yeah. So um, I will get these tight together. And that's probably all we're going to show you today. I thought some of you guys might want an update. <laughs>